Yeah, let's, now for something less completely different, actually. <laughs> so balance puzzles. Um, what do I mean with balance puzzles? Uh, a balance where you need to do some weighing problem? No, not that. Um, maybe I want to balance some nails on another nail? Also not that. I'm talking about objects that, uh, that you need to balance in a, in a seemingly impossible way, like an egg, to pu put it on its tip. Is it possible? Yes. And if you know it, it's trivially easy. But until you know it, it's a puzzle. So some history about that. Um, actually, it became sort of a craze in, in, the, uh, in around 1892 uh, when this puzzle, this type of puzzle was handed out as a souvenir at the Colombian Exposition or the Chicago World Fair where we were celebrating the 400 year anniversary of the discovery of the new world. So what has Columbus to do with puzzle with eggs? You probably heard of the egg of Columbus, but anyway, uh, let, let me tell you a short story about that, um, which make it, will make it clear. Um, when Columbus discovered the new world, he was having dinner with some, some Spanish noblemen. And uh, at this dinner, somebody said, well, if you wouldn't have discovered the new world, we would have done it. So um, he didn't react to that immediately, but he ordered a, a raw egg from the kitchen and he, when it was brought, he said, well, I'll bet you, you will not be able to balance this egg on its tip within an hour. So he went off and he let the nobleman there and they tried everything and uh, attempted to balance it on its, on its tip and they did not succeed. And when he came back, uh, Columbus picked up the egg and with a little bit of force, set it on the table, cracking it a little bit and it was standing there. <laughs> they all could have done it they didn't do it. It's that easy. If you know it, it's tr trivial. But, and it's the same with these type of balance puzzles. So apart from it being a craze for this single egg, actually there were more than 13 patents published uh, at that point in time about these type of uh, eggs and all with different types of complexity. And out of that, uh, a few of them were produced. Um, and over the later time, a number of puzzles have been, uh, come, have came to the market or were introduced at the International Puzzle Party. I'll show you a few here. They're on the left is the uh, Columbus egg puzzle. Some of them older. There are also other objects like the Tower of Pisa or a dice that balances on its tip, a clock, a few of mine. So what are some facts about these puzzles? Well, they're self-contained objects, single-piece objects, uh, nothing to move on the outside, but there are some moving parts inside, generally some balls or sand or even mercury. Uh, and you need to do something. You manipulate, tilt, uh, move the, move the uh, part inside so that it will, in the end, balance. And they are generally classified as dexterity puzzles, as is it as if there is a, a lot of chance in there of, of being able to, to balance it, which is maybe strictly true. I mean, you need dexterity to solve it, but it's not entirely fair because the puzzle here is not solving it, but it's finding the solution. That's the puzzle. You don't even need to touch it. Well, you need to touch it, but you don't need to solve it to come up with the solution. Um, so solving balance puzzles. These puzzles leave you in the dark, and not everybody likes that um, because you miss the sense of sight. Uh, but we have five senses, and we can still hear and listen. Well, smelling and tasting is not really in involved, but um, so what you do is you, you shake it or you, you hear it and you feel what's happening when something's moving inside. In general, you investigate what is, what is going on. And to solve these puzzles, you, it can be very intimidating and frustrating while you're doing that, and it requires a lot of logic. You need to have some creative thinking, thinking out of the box or in the egg. Um, you need a lot of patience and, of course, a lot of perseverance. Uh, and if, you, if you're up to that uh, and you find a solution, you will love them, and otherwise you may, may curse them. Um, but don't say they're not puzzles, because they have a logical solutions, most of them anyway, 
uh, and it's not just a matter of trying and an error, tri trial and error. And please, can you run the video now? There's lots more information about this in my paper. So if you just set it up, it will fall over. Thank you.